Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay, and welcome to the Legion Beta look at the Demon Hunter's class hall, the Fellhammer. To get to the Fellhammer, as you are seeing a little Demon Hunter fly down there right there, there is a small island floating off of the side of Dalaran, which you unlock. There goes another one, which you unlock doing either of the Havoc or Vengeance quests. You just jump right off here of Cress's Landing. It's kind of right there on the map right there. But you just jump down and head through the portal. And it teleports you to the Fellhammer. So let's go check it out, shall we? Give it a look over. This is the Illidari Redoubt. Which is your little scouting point so you can look over here. And keep an eye on the tomb of Sargeras and the broken shore all down there but we are heading into this portal the Illidari gateway so the Fellhammer is a ship it is one of those ships that we fight off during the invasions of Azeroth. It's a little bit of a different one, but it's still one of those ships that like stands upright, up and down, but then it flies, um, I guess, like perpendicular to the ground, and then it stands upright. So I guess it flies parallel, I guess is the correct way to put it. It flies up and down, and it sits like, it's all weird, but we're floating over Mardoom. This is actually the planet that you do all of the starting stuff for the Demon Hunters. All those areas down there. If you do jump off, a bat just grabs you. You can't actually jump off right now. A bat will just grab you, then float you around. But we'll get a good, good bird's eye view of this whole area by this. Or bat's eye view, I guess, right? <laughs> so, interesting thing that I've been told about the Fellhammer is that through your, your class order hall campaign, you will unlock another area to it. So there are two areas that we're going to go look at. There's the middle, the upper command layer, and then the lower command layer here. But there is more to it, apparently. Got some little imprisoned imps, which I guess we can actually just murderize. Oh no, they're train dummies. They're for AOE testing. Ah, perfect. There are, what, five of them there? Yeah, there are five of them there. Okay. I see. Very neat. So we'll take a look around here at the top layer. So on both sides, there are imprisoned demons. These are your target dummies. And of course, must not demon not hunters doing demon hunter things. Not sure what this is for. This might teleport you somewhere else in the ship or just looks neat. Not sure. This is your... Illidari trainer. Between the Legion and Annihilation. Any of the uh, the class spec trainers in the game now, all they do is they enter the Proving Grounds. So if you want a Proving Grounds on your Demon Hunter, Remember, you know, for achievements, you totally can. There's some Illidan, Illidari uh, enforcers here watching some duels happen. But yeah, this is a tanking dummy, this guy, which is a max level one. He will destroy me. This one's a train dummy, so you can do damage to this one. It won't get destroyed. But yeah, so your train dummies are these imprisoned demons in your class hall right there. And of course, the, the AOE ones that are outside right there that we saw earlier. We'll head down to the middle section here. A whole bunch of little war glaive war blade just sitting around. So we have, oh, there's the little metal class campaign bit that I'm sure we'll be utilizing later on. This is Falara Nightsong. She has an old school glaive on her back. Just one, though, for some reason. I've sacrificed everything. What have you given? Ah, hello, Jennifer Hale. <laughs> so Jennifer Hale is the... Your uh, Illidari Provisioner. This is your Quartermaster in your class hall. Lord Illidan knows the way. Azeroth must not fall. My life is dedicated to destroying the Burning Legion. We are all that stands between the Legion and Annihilation. 
So she will sell you the a purple version of that starting glaive if you so desire. All the class order hall um, provisioners all have just like some cosmetic stuff on them. And then they have, for demon hunters though, which is a little bit different, they all have, you all have a class order hall set, right? Every, every class has a eight piece set. Demon hunters, however, they didn't have a mop challenge mode set, so they made you this new armor set, which just has like these crazy demon faces. Look at this mask. It's really have some cool detail on it. Just these crazy angle. Look at this bat belt buckle thing going on here. And the angry, like blind eyed demons. And it's got it's got cloven feet for the boots. They're actually kind of larger. It's like to incorporate the fact that you have demon feet. But that is your order hall set. The two piece and the four piece all work in the broken aisles, like outside kind of stuff. And then there is the six and eight piece set, which work everywhere. And it all starts out pretty low level. You can get it through a different, you know, Nightfall and Honored, completing your class order hall campaign, Revered uh, revered with two broken aisle reputations. They all have a different, you know, prerequisite, right? One level 110. And then you can spend a bunch of order hall resources to upgrade it all the way up to 840. It does cost a ton of order hall resources because you have to do them all from 810 to 820 or 820 to 830, and then of course 830 to 840, all individual pieces. So that's a way you can definitely gear up early on in the expansion though, which I'm sure many people will be working on doing. I'm not sure how much power is involved in the, the six and eight piece set at 840. I'm sure it's better than just like heroic dungeon gear, but that is from your- Don't give in to the power of the Legion. That is from your quartermaster right here, your provision, provisioner. So in the middle here, of course, look around, there's the doodads and all the bits and bobs. Lots of Illidari. Honestly, who's over here? We got just the one over here, some books. Illidari tomes, just looking around. Of course, the Illidan banner here. Is Farallon on this map somewhere? <laughs> Other side, we have just some more NPCs hanging out. Uh, here's Sevis Brightflame. My life is dedicated to destroying the Burning Legion. Technically, uh, there's a little bit of uh, of story that keeps going on here, which this is a spoiler, but you're watching a spoiler video. So this is my Demon Hunter. I had to copy them over to um, circumnavigate the issues of recording Demon Hunter videos on the beta, and I chose Altruist the Sufferer. Also, I didn't chose I didn't choose to kill Sevis. I've sacrificed everything. What have you? Given? So in that early mission on Mardoom, you could sacrifice yourself to find out you have an immortal demon soul or Sevis kills himself, I believe. And Sevis is supposed to be in canon dead, but in your personal story, if you don't kill Sevis, there he is. That's a little touch. There's a bunch of demon hunters sitting around. We've got the Coil Scar. We've got the Matron Mother Malevolence, who is a, is a saucy one. I live to serve the Illidari. Hello, my dear. It's always good to see you. What can I help with? Try not to forget that the Legion wants to burn all worlds, especially yours. Yes, I'm on your side. It's complicated for reasons. <laughs> for reasons. I'd sooner kill you than look at you. But let's start with look. No hug before you go? What is it now? She's, she's a saucy one. We survive. So this is going to be your scouting map right here in the middle, where all the other demon hunters are conglomerating, of course. This is where you pick up your quest to go out into the Broken Isles and quest, of course. This will also be where you will command your your forces, your Ash Tongue, your Coral Scar, and your Shivara, I would assume, which will all be listed. So your overall resources are on the top bar. This is part of the base game. This bar is built in. This is not an add-on. And you'll see eventually once you unlock your different forces, they'll be posted up here on this top, like, Titan bar-ish. A um, uh, little UI element. I wonder if there'll be add-ons that will remove this and give you some like menu-oriented little pop-up, which I would prefer myself instead of this top bar popping down. But it's fine for a default UI kind of addition. You can see on the mini-map as well, so you'll be able to eventually order or or build Must or not give up. create your so your forces because they are disposable over time. We have another dummy over here, another dummy over here. It's, these are lower level dummies. As you see, they, they kind of get um, larger in scope demon-wise. 
like you have just like a little fell guard and like a crazy fell spider thing and then this just jailer guy and then over there you have an actual doom guard and a moog over there so it's kind of cool how like they, the levels of them level up with you my life Whoa. is dedicated to destroying the burning in just like scope of how large they are in comparison to their power and the level of the target dummy itself. There is your portal back to the Illidari Gateway. Priestess of Delight. Your wish might be my command. Then again. Yes, I am on your side. It's complicated. Because reasons. Interesting. Probably part of a class hall campaign because there are different names. These... Because this is Priestess of Dementia. These purple ones and then Priests of Delight is the red. Maybe it's just purple and red are the two different types of Shrivara. I don't know. So that's this middle area here, or I guess the, the top floor, the command floor. We can head downstairs here. And this is going to be the lower floor, which is going to have a couple different things down here. I don't think everything is going to be very unlocked. This is the Empowered Nether Crucible. Where you, it just doesn't do anything unless you, you know, each time in those videos there was something that you could see here. But I imagine with the Class Order Hall campaign, maybe more of that will open up. We've got some imprisoned demon stuff over here in another empty cell. It's a Mardune Revenant over here. We've got an Imp Mother, Mother Volaz, that is currently being imprisoned right here. I have sacrificed everything. Oh. What have you given? Alari is like our... She is the the bad cop of all of this. She has the soul... She has like the soul stealer edge or whatever the heck it's called again. So she's probably trying to pry information out of all these demons. These demons are providing us with a wealth of information. The fell mysteries of the Burning Legion will make us more powerful. And their secrets will prove their undoing. Now, how may I help you, Betrayer? If we do not meet again, die well. So I'm sure that'll open up eventually. Over here, we just have more doodads. I imagine you'll fill these up in due time. Over here, we have like a command console. Again, we are on some crazy spaceship. We are all that we are stands all that stand. between the Lord Legion Illidan and the Night. The violation. I was looking for different voices. That is the regular voice, but they're named. These are all named demon hunters. So they're controlling the ship or, or something. Neat. On this side, we have the Cursed Forge of the Nath Razim, which is going to be how you handle upgrading your artifact power through your perks, and of course, is where you change your appearances. I had done all the other artifact quests, so you can check out the cards on this video, check out my channel guide, or check out the Legion beta playlist to check out any of the other classes or specs in the game, their class halls or individual classes, um, artifact quests, the specs for each individual artifact weapon in the game. So you can look at, I, I show off the artifact appearances in every video. This is Seer Akalu. Hello, stranger. If you wish I can help you alter the power of your blades, ah, this is going to be your respec vendor, which again, be very, very wary of that. Respecking is a little bit dangerous, it's kind of a trap. You should know the path of your artifact before you go into it, or just kind of go with the flow. You'll eventually get all of it anyway. And now the other side... Ooh, this is Jace. Hi, Jace. I've sacrificed everything. What have you given? This is your artifact knowledge tome, which will eventually have passages and story in it as you progress your artifact knowledge. Archimonde the Defiler spent an eternity exposing the darkness of the darkest tendrils of the arcane arts. Thousands of years, countless worlds, knowledge, and history are locked away within this tome's pages. Now, you will tell your tale, my lord. If we don't meet again, die well. So that means that, ah, Vau the Weathered is your researcher. This is going to be where you... Light. Must remember. The Hand of Illidan, how can I serve, Master? So this is going to be where you're going to do your artifact knowledge quests that will scale quicker in time that will give you more artifact power from learning things and crushing items and completing quests to get you more artifact power. And then again, as this progresses, you'll have writings in this book. This is a Coil Scar C color. Helping in the research, I see. All right. 
Well, there's one last little tidbit that I caught. Oh, she's walking around, actually. All right. Back up on the top layer before we end this video, there was something... Oops. There was something else that I noticed that many demon hunters might find very amusing. If you remember the Mardoom campaign and the encounter you had here, there is Blood Queen Tyranna chained up up top there, skewered through, honestly. She was the crazy spider demon witch thing that was holding this, the Fellhammer under her control, and you took it back from her. But just look at all the architecture going all the way up there. It's a huge ship. But that's a neat little Easter egg that she's hanging up there. Because you have taken over the entire Fellhammer. But that's the Fellhammer. And all that I can show of it, of course, because I don't have the class Hoarder Hall campaign done in a way that I can show the extra, extra layering that you'll eventually get to do those crazy little, not world bosses, like Demon Hunter bosses that you could kill once a week or something like that, so... Probably just for the Class Order Hall campaign. But that's that. Thank you so much for watching. Again, check the cards, check my channel guide, or check the playlist on this channel for all of the other Legion beta coverage I have done. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoy all the coverage I have done. It's been a long journey. My goodness. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next anything that I do. Thank you for watching.